Hi everyone, I am Jenna. This is Apple Dolly Creations. I'm a couple minutes early. I always do that. So, what we're making today is a bell. Bells right now, not only for the holidays. Hi Gail, not only for the holidays, but for uh, home decorations. Bells are like a really big thing right now. So, as some of you know, I'm working for U-Haul. I take care of all the storage units. <laughs> I thought I had that turned off. Um, that people are always leaving stuff behind. So, somebody left two of these big globes. And as soon as I saw these, I thought a bell. Because of the shape of it. So, I have two of these. But... I don't know what these were for, a lamp maybe, I don't know, because they're so tall. But you can also use one of these. And these you can pick up at flea markets. I was at Lowe's and they run from about four to eight dollars a piece if you wanna buy a new one. What I picked up at Lowe's was, this is for a porch. It's 36 inches tall, it's two by two is the size of it. And it um, is for your porch, for your railing. So I was looking for something for a handle for this. So I had Tony cut this down for me after I figured out how big of a handle I needed. So this is what we've cut. I cut it right here. So I had him cut it right underneath this decorative scroll. And then I figured out how tall I wanted it. So he cut this down for me. And we're going to be doing something with all these pieces that he cut. So I got all these pieces. I have five pieces because one of them I've already glued on. So I was trying to figure out how to secure this in here because this is square, this is round. So what I did was, because this is so tall, I got a half gallon mason jar. I turned it upside down and put it underneath of here just like that. So what that does is it gives this something to sit on while this is gluing. And what I used is the Gorilla Glue. This is called Clear Grip. This is the one I always buy. So the only part of this that touches this is the corners. So I put a bunch of glue on all four corners and I sat this in here. Now I did this at two o'clock today, so it's not totally set up yet, the one we're gonna work on. But before I glued this, I took a one inch ball. This is just a bead, just one inch. And I took some jute rope because the bell needs a clacker. Is that what that thing's called on the inside? I think. And I put it through and I held this up and figured out, see it does have a good bell sound, don't it? Where I wanted this to go, I put a knot here, and then I double knotted this here, and I stapled it to the underside, and I also put glue on here. So then when I glued these four corners and put this down in here, that's what I did, and I let this set up. Now because this is square and this is round, I have gaps. And as I was looking at this, I thought I have to fill in these gaps. So after this sat up for a couple of hours, the Gorilla Glue, because this takes 24 hours actually to cure all the way. I came back in and I filled in the gaps with hot glue. I took the bell and I pushed it underneath. And I filled in these gaps with hot glue. And I let that set up for about 15 minutes. Hi, Stephanie. And then I came back and I put some more Gorilla Glue in these gaps. And I waited almost an hour, and then I came back in here and took hot glue, and I filled the rest of these gaps up with hot glue all the way to the top of this, because there's like a little lip here, all the way to the top. And that's where we are. That's where I left off. So we're gonna pick it up. That's the prep work that I've done. 
me get rid of this. Now, when I was looking at this, sitting here on my table, I thought this needed something. I thought, you know, I didn't like just the look of this flat top. So I went digging through my stuff and I found some drawer pulls. I used a pair of pliers and took the screw out and I used Gorilla Glue. Hi, Beth. I used Gorilla Glue and hot glue and I glued this together. I like the way that looks better because this just had a flat top and I, it needed something. So this is where we are. We got the globe, we have part of the porch post, and we have the, the drawer pull. Now just see on the side, there's the wood be wooden bead on the jute rope, okay? Now, we're not going to pick this up and shake it like a regular bell. Hi, Melissa. But because it's a bell, it needed to have, I think that's called a clacker, the thing that makes the noise. Now, these have like a crackle, off-white finish. Now, I like the way these look, but after I washed them and I took alcohol over them because you're doing any painting with glass oh thanks melissa you want to do alcohol even though you've washed it and you've rinsed it and you've dried it there still could be some uh soap or whatever cleaner you're using on here so always go over with alcohol but i thought can you see the black marks that's on these they're all the way around it, and I could not get them off. So I'm going to paint this. Even though I like this finish, I'm thinking because it has such a rough finish that the paint will also look like that. So what I'm using for the bell part, I'm using, this is folk art chalk paint in the color Castle. And then for the wood and for the drawer pull, I'm using, this is Apple Barrel Real Brown. Now, if you've been following me, you know this is my favorite color of brown. It is more like a gingerbread color brown, but this is the one that I always pick up. And I wish they made a bigger bottle than this because I use so much of it. So that's where we are. We're using Gorilla Glue Hot, the hot Glue. And somebody asked me why I always say that. I have not promoted I am not paid by Gorilla Glue, but this is all temperature. So you can use it for your low temp, your high temp glue guns, but this dries clear. Have you ever taken something out that you've had stored and it was put together with hot glue and it all started falling apart? This doesn't do that. And this has a workable time. Like some hot glue, you put it on and it's, it's there. This gives you 45 seconds of working time. So if you put something in the wrong place, you can hurry up and pull it off. That's why I always say use this glue. And you can get this at Walmart. So, so we're going to paint this and we're going to paint this. Now you can stain this um, if you're using just a plain bow rod like this. You can uh, paint it and then wrap it in fabric or um, wrap a ribbon around it so there's all kinds of ideas that you can do you can also you can decoupage this with uh, paper napkins hi Tina so I mean it depends on the look you're going for now this I'm not going to make real Christmassy because I think I'm going to leave this set out because I just love the size of this thing I wish I would have seen the lamps that uh, these went on so we're going to get this going. So the trims that I'm going to use, I have some fabric that I've ripped. Well, maybe I don't need to do that. This is big enough. I have some fabric that I've ripped. I have some pine. The pine stems that I picked mine up at uh, Dollar Tree 
You can get them also at uh, Hobby Lobby. If you have an old pine wreath, you can cut apart. So yesterday I was messing around with my Facebook and my algorithm was going crazy. So some of you answered my question to help me get my algorithm going again. I mean, it just instantly dropped almost to nothing. And I was like, what's going on? I don't know if it, it was a fluke. It was um, a glitch. So we're going to draw the name. I asked for you to post your favorite Christmas song. So some of you did. And we're going to draw that name. And what we're what the gift is, is um, the jar, the snowman jar we made the other day. So I was hoping that the rough texture would show through on this paint, and it is. And with chalk paint, you don't need the prime. You can just chalk paint it. Just put the paint on and it stays. Because all the other, like their acrylic paints, you have to prime. So this saves, saves a whole step. And I think one coat's going to do this. I bought this color to do something with. And for the life of me, I can't remember what I was going to paint it. What I was going to paint. I have no idea. Do you ever do that? You buy stuff and then it's like, what was I going to do with that? What was my thought process? And I still haven't found a ivory bottle. I, I, I bought it. And it's here somewhere. If I don't take something and put it right away, right where it belongs, because here everything has a spot. Everything has a place. And I didn't do that. And now I don't know where I put it. I'm not sure why I wouldn't have just brought it in here and sat it. I'm just making sure all of my paint lines are going in the right direction and there's no drips. Now I might go over this with a wash, but I like how that's turning out. So we're going to set this aside and we're going to get this brown paint. And we're going to paint the top of this. Glue strings. I have glue strings everywhere. The one nice thing about chalk paint too, if you have a little bit of glue showing, it will go right over that glue. Because a lot of the other paints will not go over the glue, but the chalk paint will. So the other globe, we are going to make something with it also next week. This week, we're doing bells. I thought I would start doing themes and all the lives that week. Hi, Dennis. I thought we would do themes and that week we would just do all of the lives on that theme. So Dennis, you'll have to tell Kim she called during my live and I can't answer. So 
so far I like how that's coming out we're gonna darken up that chalk paint we're gonna have to dry this so so this drawer pool that I chose it has a design on it and this paint I don't know if you can tell it's bringing that out that design get a white okay so that's where we are so we're gonna put some more in here on top of that glue okay so we're gonna dry this a little bit about chalk paint it dries really fast when you dry it like this and you can actually see it starting to dry now I think I'm going to take some um, black acrylic paint and do a wash over this to give it some dimension So this is finger dry. So I'm going to take some black acrylic paint and I'm just going to put it right on top of this brown and I'll mix a little bit of water in with it. Just a couple drops just to thin it out a little bit. That's a more than a little bit. So we might have to add some more paint to that. So actually I want it thinner. So has anybody ever made sourdough bread? I have a starter going. It's doing very well. I'm on day seven of it because every day you have to do something different to it. So if you, hi Peyton. So if you have, message me because I'm not quite sure. The directions from the person who gave it to me wasn't didn't, wasn't very clear, and I can't get a hold of them. So I have some questions about it. I've been on YouTube, but everybody that does it does a different way. So I'm just going to go over top of this and just do a wash, and then I'm going to wipe it back off. 
just to just give a little bit of dimension to it. Just make it more look like a metal. So it's 50 degrees here today, but the wind was awful. It would have been an absolutely gorgeous day had the wind not been blowing. So we have a crawl space under our house and something got underneath of the house and died. And it's driving me crazy. Tony didn't have a chance to go underneath of there. Of course, I'm, I'm sure he's thrilled about it and get it out of there. But our guest bathroom smells awful. It's a good thing I have no company coming here in the next few days. Because we have an armadillo that's been driving us crazy, digging holes everywhere. So I'm thinking maybe that's what's under there. But I'm glad it wasn't under my sewing room because that would have been bad. <laughs> I got a lot of work in here to do. So this is just giving it more of a dimension. See that? More of a metal look. So today was a crazy day at work. There are days that I don't see any customers and then there are days that all the crazy customers come in and it's like, today was one of those days. It's like, oh my goodness. Like it was a typical Monday. So do you like this finish or did you like the plain, the tan gray color? Twenty-five degrees and flurries in Harrisburg. Oh no. Don't miss those flurries at all. Here if we get flurries, everything closes down. Even if it's just a snowflake. A snowflake is like everyone panics. Hi, Angela. Welcome. So we are taking a glass globe and making a bell out of it. I don't know if this is a globe or a lampshade, but it reminded me of a bell. So if any of you are looking for a nice little boutique to shop at, Melissa on here has a really nice one in Uniontown, Pennsylvania. 
You can contact her. She makes t-shirts and mugs called Flawless and Co. It's in the Oliver Square if you're from that area. She also has the uh, makeup line from Pharmacy, which is really great makeup. It's all natural. And Stephanie on here, she also does t-shirts. She's from Masontown, Pennsylvania area. So if you're looking for something like that, you can contact them. Or contact me and I'll give you their information. So, what do you think of that? I gotta touch up this, the brown. So it looks more like a metal. It gives it more dimension. So I gotta get some of this brown because I touched it up with the gray. Oops, wrong paint. Go over this, give it a second coat. We'll dry it and then I'll put the dark brown back on it. Maybe we'll just wipe this one off too. It's like, why is it when we get close to the holidays that people start going crazy? It's like everybody's in the same boat. Everybody's got everything to do. Like it was crazy today. Oh, you're welcome, Stephanie. Promote all of you. If you make something and sell it, I'll promote all of you because we have to help each other out, right? Give this a dimension too with two colors. So we don't want it to look new. We want it to look like it's been around for a long time. Hi, Debbie. How are you? I hope your daughter's feeling better. Okay, there we go. Now that I got my hands a mess. So we're gonna hit this with the dryer and then we're going to decorate it. Just so I don't get paint on everything I touch. Okay.
while that top continues to dry the bottom is dry because we wiped that off i have this pine this roping from dollar tree you can also get this at hobby lobby and i'm thinking we're going to use two of them i have some red berries and i have some uh I thought maybe we would pull some of this off. I got these from a floral supply that I buy from. And I got some ripped fabrics in the reds, burgundies. So let me cut these. We don't need big pieces of this. maybe four pieces, five pieces. So all of the pieces from the um, porch post, we still have these. We're gonna use these in a project. So we let nothing go to waste. Okay, so I'm thinking, I'm gonna start putting these, let's start with the fabric. So I just ripped this fabric. And if you follow me, you know that I like the primitive look. I like the ragged edge of the ripped fabric. So we're just gonna take this and we're gonna wrap it around and tie it. And we're gonna do it two ways. We're gonna have it go in this direction and that direction. So this is just a homespun fabric. Now, most homespun fabrics are printed on both sides. This is not, but most home, the homespun fabric is printed on both sides. And I'm just going to dovetail the ends. Have one a little longer than the other. So I'm just twisting this so that this, the burgundy is showing and the tan is underneath. So we're going to take one and put it this way. Now somebody had sent me a message about the Santa light, uh, the lighted jar that we made the other day. I am selling those. They are uh, $12.95. I will show you it in a moment um, if you're interested. But you have to get your orders in because I am swamped for Christmas. Okay. So there's that on two sides. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna glue it and stick it like up underneath of the knot. And this is wired so that you can bend it. So we'll put two on each side. And the reason I'm doing it on both sides, that way the bell, can, if you're putting it like in a centerpiece on a table or something, it's decorated all the way around. This would look very pretty sitting inside of a wreath on a table, on a bookshelf, on an end table.
And these red berries I also picked up at the floral supply place. These ones I don't like as well. I, I picked them up because they were darker red and burgundy. But I don't like these as well as uh, the one. These are on like a plastic stem. And other berries are on a wire stem. And I like the wire better. But we're just going to stick these up here on top of the bow. But if any of you make anything that I show, please send me a picture of it and give me permission to post it so everyone can see your idea opposed to mine. Because we all see something a little differently than the next person. Because I see things people do and I think, oh, I can do that, but it would look nicer if it was this way or that way. That's what makes the world go round. If you all could say a prayer for my mom. She went home today. She has a fracture in her back. So... She's been staying, she was in the hospital for a while, and she's been staying with my brother, but she went home today. My daughter-in-law's going with her to help take care of her because she's in so much pain from this fracture. So there's that side. There's that side. I didn't realize that this really does have a bell sound. I just like the shape of it. I thought, as soon as I saw it, I thought, Belle. So I'm going to take some of this other ripped fabric. Get rid of some of these glue strings. And we're going to make a messy bow. It's also called a refab bow. Because she's the one that came up with this. And all it is, is ripped fabric. Just pieces. And you just stack your pieces on top of each other and tie them together. Let me get all the different colors here. Now we're gonna be doing something with this big pile of ripped fabric. Here's part of Tony's shirt that we used the other day on the snowman jar so you don't always have to go out and buy fabric you can use a shirt like we did on like that's what this is a piece of the shirt that I tore apart that Tony was getting rid of but I like the color of the shirt so let me see I have some other fabrics here let's put some jute in it Now that's not really jute, it is baling wire, or baling a twine that I picked up at Tractor Supply. You get a really big thing of it. I think it was like under $8. And I've been using it for a long time. So, so you can buy crafting supplies everywhere. Grocery store, Tractor Supply. Tractor Supply has uh, burlap bags if you want burlap for something. So everywhere I go, I'm looking for craft supplies. Okay, we're going to tie this together. Hi, Butch. I 
gonna tie this in a knot and then we're gonna untwist this jute so we have the frayed look of the of the rope just untwist it and then just start pulling it apart I'm gonna cut this down a little bit so I have um, telegram it's an app and I post uh, different uh, downloadables that you can have um, so if you aren't on my telegram sign up for it there's a link posted at the top of the page also YouTube so all the videos that I've done you can find in sequence over on YouTube on here I post all kinds of stuff so if you want to find a video on Facebook you don't have YouTube Go at the top of the page where the three little dots are. It'll pull up uh, a drop down. Go into the search part of that and type in whatever it is that you're looking for. Okay. See, just a messy little bow. We're going to put it right on the top. We're going to make two of them. Right on the top of the berries. I'm glad I put that drawer pull up on that. That looks much better. I kept looking at that and couldn't figure out what was wrong with that. That it needed something. So my brain clicked in. Because it doesn't always. <laughs> especially after working all day. And especially a day like today. It got so bad that I got anointing oil from my pastor and I went around and started anointing everything at work. So the devil is out strong. piece of fabric So both of these bows are not going to look the same, and that's okay. Because we don't want everything to be identical. Okay, let's tie this one together. Tony and I are loving our house. We uh, bought a fixer-upper, so yeah, we're in a mess. But it's on a lake. That's what he wanted. Because he grew up on Eastern Shore. And the whole time we've known each other, I want to live on a lake again. I want to live on a lake again. So we found this one and took it. But it's really nice. It's a retirement community. And uh, our pastor lives right next door. There's another pastor that lives across the street. So at least our part of this community is a nice street. Of course, Tony and I went back to work part-time. But some days I wonder why.
and I'm just untwisting the, this uh, jute. Instead of just having a piece of jute there, you get that frayed edge. And it just makes your bow look a little bit better. See that? And I'm going to glue it on this other side. And then we're going to fluff these up. So what do you think so far? Out of a glass globe or lampshade, whatever this was. It's like I bet the person that left it would like to have it back now. Now we could go further. If you just wanted to make this winter, we could take glitter glue and we could put snowflakes on here. We could add uh, more flowers in here. I just like the greenery with the berries. But what do you think? And it actually, actually sounds too, now that I broke your eardrums. So what do you think? Just gonna clear some stuff here. I put all the names of everyone that shared their favorite Christmas song in this can, because this is what I had sitting here. And I'm just gonna reach in, grab a name. This is the jar that we made the other day. And he lights up. He has three different settings on his light. And this is the, it's a, it's a quart jar. I put a tag on it that says Snowman Kisses. We can put a tag on that one too. So this is Kathleen Smith. So, and her song was Away in a Manger. So I wrote down everyone's name and their song. And you guys picked out some really great songs. So I just need your address and this is the... This is it. Now, if you don't like this hat, I have a whole bunch of these jars made that I haven't put hats on. Just let me know what kind of hat you want, what color, and I will put that on. But this is the gift. And that's for helping me with my algorithm the other day when it was going crazy. And as soon as all of you started posting, it went right back up. So I'm not sure what the issue was. But that's it. Okay? Okay. God bless each one of you. Remember, Jesus loves you, and I appreciate you joining me, and I hope you like this. Let me know what you think. So, Wednesday, we're doing another bell. This week is bells. We're just going to do a whole themed week every week till Christmas, and so we're going to do another bell a different way. We have, I'm doing a bell out of something very unusual. You'll love it. God bless you. Have a great night.